Like and subscribe and click the bell icon to get new video updates. Texas police say wrong decision to not break into Uvalde classroom sooner by Jake Blyberg, Jim Virtuno and Elliot Spagat May 28, 2022, 5.05 am save login, register or subscribe to save articles for later. Share normal text size larger text size very large text size 31 view all comments Uvalde. Texas police officials have acknowledged that it was the wrong decision for officers to not try to break into an elementary school classroom where a gunman was killing students and teachers. Nearly 20 officers stood for about 45 minutes in the hallway outside the adjoining classrooms at Robb Elementary School in Uvalde, where 18-year-old Salvador Ramos shot and killed 19 students and two teachers before U.S. Border Patrol agents unlocked the door to confront and kill him. Authorities said on Friday, Saturday 8. Texas Department of Public Safety Director Stephen McCraw revealed new details. Credit, AP Photo Wong May at least some of the 911 calls made during the mass shooting on Tuesday came from inside the connected classrooms where Ramos was holed up, Stephen McCraw, the head of the Texas Department of Public Safety, said at a press conference where he released new details. It was the wrong decision, McCraw conceded. The on-scene commander at the time believed it had transitioned from an active shooter to a barricaded subject, he said, adding the commander thought there were no children at risk. Obviously, based upon the information we now have, there were children in that classroom at risk. The police official blamed for not sending officers in more quickly to stop the school shooting is the chief of the school system's small police force a unit dedicated ordinarily to building relationships with students and responding to the occasional fight. A group of Border Patrol tactical officers would later engage in a shootout with the gunman and kill him, officials said. There was a barrage of gunfire shortly after Ramos entered the classroom where officers eventually killed him, but that shots were sporadic for much of the 48 minutes when officers waited in the hallway, McCraw said. He said investigators do not know if or how many children died during that time. Throughout the attack, teachers and children repeatedly called 911 asking for help, including a girl who pleaded, please send the police now, McCraw said. Questions have mounted over the amount of time it took officers to enter the school to confront the gunman. They came as the National Rifle Association held its convention in Houston, as the issue of gun safety roiled the American and global, public. A child looks at a memorial site for the victims killed in this week's shooting at Robb Elementary School credit, AP photo Dario Lopez Mills The event, where former U.S. President Donald Trump spoke, attracted fierce criticism and hundreds of protesters. Texas Governor Greg Abbott was due to speak at the event but pulled out at the last minute, opting instead to stay in Uvalde. Ramos Rampage It was 11.30 am on Tuesday, Texas time, when Ramos Ford pickup slammed into a ditch behind the low-slung Texas school and the driver jumped out carrying an AR-15 style rifle. Twelve minutes after that, authorities say, Ramos entered the school and found his way to the fourth grade classroom where he killed the 21 victims. But it wasn't until 12.58 p.m. that law enforcement radio chatter said Ramos had been killed and the siege was over. What happened in those 90 minutes, in a working-class neighborhood near the edge of the town of Uvalde, has fueled mounting public anger and scrutiny over law enforcement's response to Tuesday's rampage. They say they rushed in, said Javier Cazares, whose fourth-grade daughter, Jacqueline Cazares, was killed in the attack and who raced to the school as the massacre unfolded. We didn't see that. Friday's briefing came only after authorities spent three days providing often conflicting and incomplete information. According to the new timeline provided by McCraw, after crashing his truck, Ramos fired on two people coming out of a nearby funeral home, officials said. Law enforcement personnel stand outside Robb Elementary School following the shooting. Credit. AP photo Dario Lopez Mills Contrary to earlier statements by officials, a school district police officer was not inside the school when Ramos arrived. When that officer did respond, he unknowingly drove past Ramos, 
who was crouched behind a car parked outside and firing at the building, McCraw said. At 11.33 p.m., Ramos entered the school through a rear door that had been propped open and fired more than 100 rounds into a pair of classrooms, McCraw said. Department of Public Safety spokesman Travis Considine said investigators haven't yet determined why the door was propped open. Two minutes later, three local police officers arrived and entered the building through the same door, followed soon.